Hey, 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 I'm back again today. Like, share, and subscribe. Come on in and test my vibe. Hey, 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 I'm back again today. Like, share, and subscribe. Come on in and catch my vibe. Come on in and catch my vibe today, y'all. I don't know what kind of vibe you're going to get out of me today, but I'm in here cooking. And while I'm in here cooking, I'm putting, going to put some chicken in this crock pot, y'all. Let me see. Y'all know how I do. I get up in the morning. I do my thing. Make sure this little thing don't fall. Because... Yeah, y'all, get on here. Do my little cooking video, y'all. Yeah. <laughs> Season up this hair stuff. So how's everybody doing? I hope everybody's having a wonderful, beautiful, blessed day thus far. I probably really wash my hands, y'all. I'm just going to pat some of this oil on this chicken. Actually, let me just pour a little bit on here. Just gonna pour a little bit on on each piece of this chicken. Okay, I already put the oil all over the chicken and everything, so I'm just gonna get the oil head on the seasoning. With my seasonings, and you know, I'm really not doing a, a tutorial. I just came on here, I guess, you know, to do what I'm doing and to make a video. You know, talk again. You know, I was going to make another video, y'all, talking, you know, put my foot on some necks, you know what I'm saying, out here. But I decided not to do it. Because, listen, here, at the end of the day, when we all on here on this platform, we come on here to do what it is we came on here to do. Not to get on here and for people to get on here and, and pick out of our videos and, and want to talk about, you know, different things and how we do what it is that we do in our videos. You know, coming for people, so, to, you know, to say. You know what I'm saying? It's just it's, it's just, just it's just not right. Some people just ain't got no morals, and that's just what they do. You know what I'm saying? It's just what they do. They want to get on here and talk about people every day and, uh, you know, and mess with people all the time. They want to be a bully or what have you not. But you know what? The people that usually be a bully have gotten bullied, okay? Then they want to try to turn that thing around on somebody else. If you don't get Satan, if you don't get somewhere, sit down. See, Satan got kids on these YouTube streets, y'all. Satan got some cheering on these YouTube streets. Out here doing doing his work. You know what I'm saying? And then the, the fools don't even realize it. You know, people so uh, uh, gung-ho of uh, trying to fit in with different people. You know what I'm saying? Scared that their channel ain't going to rock because they need, they need certain people to make it out here on these YouTube streets. To fit in, to have a click, to be in a click. You know what I'm saying? Oh, this person can help me get, you know, some subscribers and some views. No, you, you're the only person that could do that because I could send you a thousand subscribers over there. I'm just saying a thousand people could come over there, but you got to keep them over there. How you going to do that? Once you get them over there, what you going to do to keep them over there, see? Okay, because sometimes, you know, everybody don't be for what you think they be for. Some people get on here and they want to see what you're working with. And some of y'all ain't working with a darn thing. Y'all ain't working with nothing but some ignorancy. Some ignorances, that's all you got going on in your life. It's, it's drama and, and problems and everything going on. You sit up here and talk about, I ain't with it, but you, you be in it all the time. I'm just saying. You know what I'm saying? You got to surround yourself with people that are positive. You know what I'm saying? People that's going to uplift you. You know what I'm saying? And make you want to do better and do uh, greater things instead of getting on here watching somebody talking about somebody. It, it, you guys are, y'all got some issues. You know what I'm saying? And I, and I hope, you know, you guys got kids. This is what you train your kids. I feel sorry for some of your kids if you are the role models that they got, that they got to look up to. Because that's sad. That's a sad thing to have a role model to somebody that's on YouTube acting a darn fool every day, getting on here, uh, uh, looking like just, just, just doing what it is that you do that you know ain't right. It ain't right. It can't be right in your spirit. It ain't right with God. I don't care how many people get on here and offend you or piss you off and make you mad and, and make you want to come for them or what have you not. It's not what you do. It's how you do it. Sometimes you just don't need to say nothing. Let it go. Let it fly. Let God fight your battles. No, but everybody want to get on here and be seen. Talk about some clicks and some views. I don't care nothing about no clicks and no views no more. You know what I'm saying? I'm just on here and I'm just doing me. I am. I'm just on here and I'm just doing me. Just doing whatever it is that I do. If people come over here and watch me. I appreciate it. I do. You know what I'm saying? But I'm just, I, this over, this YouTube thing is overrated. 
It's overrated, underpaid. Uh, you know, it ain't even all that I thought it was going to be. I'm going to be honest with you. It's cool. I ain't going to say it ain't cool because there's some good things about it. You know, I ain't going to put it down because there's a platform. It allowed me to get on here and upload videos or what have you. Not at, at, the, at, at worst, you know what I'm saying? The, my children, if I went, the day when God come and get me, my children... Good Lord bless me to still be here a good little while. But you know what? We ain't promised tomorrow. My kids can get on here and look on here and see these videos that I made. Even the crazy ones. They get on here. Ooh, y'all know mama was the best. You know what I'm saying? But it's all good. It's all good. I mean, they're going to have their other memories, too. I ain't taking that away from them. I'm just saying. You know. You can get up here and turn the tube on and get on Tuesdays. Look my mama on YouTube. I'm just saying, you know what I'm saying? Y'all should be out here trying to make a legacy for y'all's children if you got any. Instead of sitting at home, getting behind, uh, uh, getting on here, uh, talking about people, dragging people to the hills. You know what I'm saying? And then you expect your children to know better and do better. When they go to school, they act just like you and you wonder what the hell is going on. You want to beat them and all that because they're showing out in class. Well, guess where they get it from? Guess where they get it from? You, some of y'all, if y'all got children still at home with you, living with you because they're underage, and this is what you do, get on YouTube going backwards and forwards with different people, shame on you. And if you got some grandkids, shame, shame on you. That's a double, triple shame because look at how, what, what type of grandparent are you getting on here every day, you know, with drama and mess? What are you teaching your grandkids? What do they see when they look at you? You know what I'm saying? Are they somebody that they you, they can look up to that they're going to be proud of? You know what I'm saying? Are you one of them uh, uh, grandparents? You know, you got these grandparents out here, you know, because, you know, back in the day, like I said, them grandparents that we had, they didn't get out here and, and smoke dope. And, you know, they might have drank a little bit, played a little cards. You know what I'm saying? But they weren't strung out on nothing. They had good worth ethics. You know what I'm saying? They got out here and made a do what it do. They took care of their kids and their grandkids. You know what I'm saying? They taught us the things. They taught us something about life and about values and morals and, and how to conduct ourselves and how to treat people and how to live on this land. You know what I'm saying? They taught us something. Do are y'all do y'all teach y'all children anything other than how to cuss, how to drag somebody, how to get over on somebody, how to use somebody, how to lie, how to cheat, how to steal? Do you teach them anything else other than what they see you do? I'm just asking. Because I know, you know, some of you on here, I know that I might have, you know, some 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 people on here, you know, that had the pleasure of, of meeting, getting to know, or what have you not, or what have you not. But you know what? If some of you do some of the things that I see you on here on YouTube, I wouldn't dare want to meet you in real life. I would not dare uh, 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 be affiliated with something like yourself. I just wouldn't. You're not, a, you're not on my level. You know what I'm saying? I wouldn't dare be caught in a circle with you. I wouldn't dare be proud to be walking around out somewhere with you with my head held high knowing that you this nasty person, that you a different person when you get on YouTube. You might be the same person when you get off life. Your life has to be miserable for you to get on here and do the things that you do talking about different people and doing what it is that you do on here thinking that you know everybody you know is hating on you, jealous of you, coming for you, copying off of you. Uh, 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 just got a problem with you. You know what I'm saying? Sometimes you create stuff in your own stupid head and you, it be your own self. You got a mental problem. You got some issues. You need to go get that checked out, sisters and brothers. You need to go to the hospital. Ain't nothing wrong with getting help if you need it. Ain't nothing wrong with it. Go on down there and get your, and get your, uh, self checked out. Ain't a darn thing we're wrong with talking to somebody. Shoot. Ain't nothing wrong with it. If you need help, you need to get out there and get you some help. Because I just know darn well some of y'all, some of y'all ain't, you, you know what I'm saying? There are people that were born with disabilities. You know what I'm saying? They were born with disabilities, you know what I'm saying? The physically challenged and handicapped people. But you people, you people on here, you just act like you don't have no sense. You might not have no sense because you done smoked whatever you done smoked for so long and drank whatever you done drank for so long that you ain't got many good brain cells left. What brain cells you got left dead? You done killed them and burnt them all. You ain't got no, you ain't got the good sense God gave you when you was born. You can't even think, you can't even rationalize what between right and wrong. You can't distinguish what's good and what's bad. All you are is about evil, evilness. You know what I'm saying? Jealous and hatred. 
You are Satan's. Uh, uh, you got. <laughs> you are Satan's child. You are. You out here doing the work of the devil. You bringing yourself down. You think you taking other people down. You know, some people really don't care. You know, when you get on these YouTube streets and you talking about them and you doing all. Some people really don't care and they be laughing because they be getting a kick out of you because they, they can't believe you as ignorant as you are. They can't believe that you done got on this YouTube platform and show, the real, show all these people really how ignorant you are. When you open up your mouth and speak stupid comes out of it. Yes, yes, yes it does. You know what I'm saying? Y'all walk around here and act like y'all so intelligent. You know what I'm saying? Like you got it going on and you unbothered and unmoved, but you really are. You are unmoved. You are unsettled in your life. You are just insecure. You don't love yourself. Because if you loved yourself, you would not get on here and act a fool and be a fool on these platforms every day. You would not get on here and do this. I know your parents raised you better than this. I know they did. Some of them. I know they taught y'all better than this. You know what I'm saying? If, 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 and if they watching you and they see you doing this and they go okay with it, you know, then we understand why you're doing it. We understand it. We get it. Because everybody didn't have that good home training. They didn't have that good upbringing that a lot of us did have. They taught us about morals and values and everything, how to respect people and how to move. You know what I'm saying? How, how to let God fight our battles when the, uh, when the enemy comes up against us. You know what I'm saying? We, we we know how to fall to our knees. We know how to get in that Bible. We know how to read that word. We know how to put it in God's hands and let God work because he said, vengeance shall be mine. And when he and when he says that, he means that. I'm going to tell y'all to say what y'all want to say about kicking them with Lynn, but I have a discernment. I have the gift of discernment. I know good people when I see them. I, I could just read you from the, a, a conversation. My husband, he'll tell you. He will tell you. My kids will tell you. They used to call me crazy. They said, mama, crazy. Now they understand now. I ain't crazy. Who they call them? Mama, will you make sure you pray for me? You know what I'm saying? Because God shows me things. God shows me evil people too. He does. He shows me the people that I need to steer clear from. Uh-uh. You all, you all might have it too. You know when you get that feeling about somebody, go with that gut instinct. Because that's the correct one. That means uh, uh, move around. You know what I'm saying? Don't do that. Don't do that to yourself. You got to be careful about the things that you put in your spirit. I didn't made a video about this before. The company that you keep. If you want to get out here and be something though on these YouTube streets, you got to act like something. You got to conduct yourself like women and, and men on these here platforms. Not like no bunch of dogs out here like you on the prowl. You know what I'm saying? You have to conduct yourself in a higher standard. And then people will treat you as such. They probably wouldn't talk about you all the time. They keep their mouth off of you, especially when they see that you're doing your thing and you ain't worried about what it is that they're talking about because they ain't nothing but a naysayer that ain't going nowhere to try to, uh, to unrattle you. But when they rattle you, then you've given them power over you because you they, they know that whatever it is that they're saying or doing has gotten to you. Don't give nobody that power over you. Y'all, I'm getting on here. I'm just speaking about it because I can't believe. I just can't, y'all. Just, you know, the last few days or what have you not. Um, just watching, you know, like I said, watching a certain certain videos or what. Let me get to finish doing what I'm doing. Watching certain videos. I'm going to give me some bay leaf and I'm going to put it in here, y'all. Uh, this really wasn't going to be no cooking video because I really just wanted to get on here and talk like I do, you know. So some people get on here to promote themselves, to promote their business, to promote what it is that they're doing because they truly got something going on for themselves, you know, and that's understandable. You get on here and, you know, I can, you know, the more people that I meet, you know, the more that I can get my product or show my product out here to or my brand or whatever it is. I get that. I understand that. But, you know, you people on here just thinking y'all going to be YouTube famous. You're going to be YouTube famous for being an idiot. You know what I'm saying? And you can know, you can have people come over there and follow you. But why are they following you? They're not following you because they like you. They're following you because you're a butthole. They, they like look, looking at you make a fool out of yourself. You think you be on there talking intelligent and you they be laughing with your kiki and ha-ha. You know, people do that. You know what I'm saying? They do it because you they be they don't understand <laughs> a person that's, you know, who going to get on here and just put themselves out there like that that matter. Yeah, they're going to come over there and watch it. Who ain't going to watch nobody make a fool at the, uh, out of themselves? People go out there and, and, and crowd the streets to watch a fight. Won't break it up, sit out there and watch it. But they ain't going to get involved in it. Come on, y'all. Make it make sense. You know? I know I make my videos and I talk and I'm gonna keep on making them. I'm gonna keep on talking about what it is that I want to talk about, whatever it is that I see on these YouTube streets, hoping that I might reach somebody. I know I probably won't reach none, reach none of you knuckleheads. You know what I'm saying? But hey, 
It is what it is. You're going to do what you're going to do and you're going to get what you're going to get. You know what I'm saying? You're going to keep on campaigning and you're going to get elected by the right person. Because, listen, everybody just ain't at their tolerance level and they, you know, I don't give a a, a, a care a game ain't as tight as others. You know, some people can brush you off. Some people won't brush you off. Some people will hunt you down like the dog and animal that you act like on these platforms. Because they, they got time. They ain't got nothing but time because that's their life. That's what they do. That's what they do. You know, there's people out here that look for people. They do. There's higher people out here that actually look for people that will take you down and out up in here. They'll put your dog, they'll put your dogs to sleep like you, you know what I'm saying? Because you're sick. Because <laughs> you're sick. What do they do with sick animals? They put you to sleep. They rock your world. You know, people out here really rock your world. Twist your wig back. Y'all think it's a joke out here. Y'all still get on here each and every day like it, it, like you just, like it, you know, you know, come with it, bring it. You don't want nobody to bring it for real because if they bring it, you'll be a scared kitty cat in the corner. Stop it. Oh, y'all want to get on here and act like you so tough and so bad. You know what? I mean, you know you ain't. You know you ain't. Some of you might hold your, hold yourself down, and I'm not really, you know, trying to say that, you know, y'all, you got some cowards on here. You got some true cowards on this, on this platform. You got people on here scared to really voice their opinion, to say what it is that they want to say. They want other people to do the talking for them. You are a coward. You are a low life. You are nothing. You know what I'm saying? You are weak. And no wonder you didn't make it. No wonder you had some struggles in life because you are weak-minded. Anybody can t t to say anything to you and you fall for it. You are a dummy. Go back to school. Get you some education. You know what I'm saying? Get around some people that's got it going on. The people that's got it going on in your life, you probably steer clear from them. Why? Because you, don't, you ain't on their level. You got to get on somebody else's level. You know what I'm saying? You got to get around like-minded people. You know what I'm saying? In order for your uh, 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 circumstances and, and your mindset to change. You get around here and keep on thinking all this stupid, foolish nonsense and, and be involved in it. Well, hey, that's what you're going to get. You're not going to get nothing else. Trust and believe me. You know, I hear a lot of people get on here and talk about I pray and I do this and I do that. But yet you be involved in mess and, and you a hater. You know what I'm saying? You get out here on these YouTube streets and, and you pro promote hate against people. And then in the next breath, you talking about you love God. If you love God, you will love God's people. You a liar. You are Satan's child. Yeah, yeah, you a liar. The truth ain't never been in you. <laughs> Oh, the nerve of some people to get on here talking about I'm gifted and I'm highly favored and I'm blessed and all that. For what? Blessed to talk trash? Who you blessed with? Who you, we can't see it. We can't tell. Blessed with what? Some mouth? Come on now. How blessed are you? Because blessed people don't go through nothing in life. Blessed people, I ain't saying they don't go through nothing, but they overcome and conquer, you know, anything that is, that's going on in their life because they truly trust and pray. Pray and believe in the higher power. You understand what I'm saying? They believe in that God that they serve. And I ain't talking about no devil because you can't serve but two. You know what I'm talking about? Some people, I don't know what you serve. I don't know what broom you fly off on or, and they do whatever it is that you do. You know what I'm saying? But we ain't talking about you. We talking about one God. You know, the, the God in the Bible. I don't know. People got different beliefs, but I'm, I'm going by what I believe in. Jehovah. You sitting around here talking about the love of God, and I pray this and I pray that, but yet every day you are, and we all sin, we all sin, because we all fall short of the glory of God. But it's when you get on here, and it, it's when you knowingly sin, and every day, you knowingly, purposely setting out to do harm to somebody and you think that's okay in God's eyes. You got to be crazy. Something got to be wrong with you. You are not dealing with a full deck. Okay? You are not. Ooh, get yourself together because you reap what you sow. You reap what you sow. Whatever, if you put out there, you, you plant bad seeds, you're going to reap some bad seeds. You cannot in one breath be talking about I love God and I love the Lord and I'm serving God and blah, blah, this. And then yet you out here just trying to destroy his people. Come on now. Make it make sense. Well, that's not what he do. We uplift God's people. We uplift them. We're going to have differences. But we, you know, you got to have the 
uh, ability to agree to disagree respectfully. Everybody's not going to agree to the same stuff. Everybody's not going to like the same stuff. Everybody's not going to do the same things. You know what I'm saying? And, and you got to be able to accept that and be okay with it. You don't go and talk about and bash a person because they do something differently from you. When they, you know, when in fact you want to get on these platforms and talk about how somebody else is doing stuff when you're moving just as foul as they are. The nerve of some of you. The nerve of some of you. You are just as foul. Foul comes out of your mouth every single time you open it up. You know, I know what my reason is for being on this. I, I, I know I get on this platform and I get on here and I talk and I be saying, Lord, you know, I don't understand why. You know, I, 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 you know, I've been like this my entire life. You know, people have always thought I was just mean person. No, I'm just real. I just say what I say and I don't cut no corners and I don't take no mess from nobody. I say what I'm going to say. I own, I own and stand in my truth. And I'll stand in the life I tell one and I used to tell plenty of them back in the day. Oh, but the things that we used to do, we don't do no more because we have learned. Because you know what I'm saying? When we when we was a child, we think like a child. But now that we are grown, we move we moving on these streets differently. But some of y'all ain't. And then you got the nerve to get on here and open your mouth up to put it on anybody else. You just cannot. You cannot. And the more you can up here, sit up here and condemn somebody else, the more you're going to be condemned. Understand that. I don't care how many times you fall to your knees and ask God to forgive you when you wake up the next day to repeatedly do the same thing again. Especially to somebody who's never done anything to you. I can see if somebody do something to you, okay, well, you know, resolve it. However you resolve it. You know what I'm saying? But forgiveness is key. What the Bible say about forgiving your brothers and sisters, how many times should you forgive them? Because listen here, if you don't learn to forgive, God is not going to forgive you. Don't think that you're going to walk around here harboring ill feelings towards somebody and you're going to make it into the kingdom of heaven. It don't work like that. You are not going to be forgiving your sins if you walk around here and can't forgive somebody else who does something to you. Because it ain't like you ain't never needed to be forgiven. Forgiven. Stop it. We've all done stuff and had to be forgiven. Y'all need to climb off of this uh, uh, horse y'all think y'all riding on and humble yourself because you're going to be in for a rude awakening. You think you're out here really doing something. You're doing something all right, but you're doing it to yourself. You're hurting yourself, and you're going to see that in the wrong line. Sometimes you need to see that. And the more people try to tell you not to do this, not to run with this person, not to do this, not to do that, you're going to do it because you're just stupid like that. You know what's right. You know what's wrong. You know what's right, what's wrong. Some of y'all, y'all just do too much. That's all I'm saying. You know what I'm saying? And hey, you come, don't come for me because I'm voicing my opinion. Do not. Don't send your stupid trolls in my comment section to come over here and try to tell me any. Because I tell you, I'm going, you will never be able to make another comment ever again. I'm not going to deal with y'all. I'm, I'm not playing with you people on these YouTube streets to think y'all going to come over here and be disrespectful to me. I'm not having it. I'm not having it. I, I will defend myself. I will tell you if, if you come for me in any type of way, I'll let you know. I'm just saying because this is not what this is. And some of y'all need to really get it together. Y'all need to look around. Like I said, if especially if you got some children, what are you teaching them when they get out here in this real world? That they get around here and move like you act and talk on these YouTube streets, they already doomed. They already do them. But then if you a grandmother or a grandfather, this is how you act? Shame on you. Shame on you. God is not pleased. He looking down on you. You know what I'm saying? Shaking his head. Cross over. Cross over to the good side. Stay on the right side. Don't go on that left side. Be better than, than that what you, in what you see or what you have seen in life. Understand that we all know the struggle is real. But we can overcome and conquer anything if we truly put our minds to it. I did it. With that, I'm out, y'all. Have a beautiful, blessed day. Peace.